Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Crazy Gamer. Welcome to welcome to a Minecraft uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to import servers into MinOS. Um, so yeah, first of all you want to open up Google Chrome or the browser of your choice. Then you want to go to the IP address that is displayed on your MinOS system. And from in my case, it's 192.168.1.225, and then the two dots, 8443. Enter. Your username by default is going to be MC. Your password is going to be the password that you use to set up uh, during the setup process of the installation of MinOS. Then, we, then once we get into the login page here, for me I've already got a few servers, but you've got the import page, for, I've already imported one which is Crazy Craft 4, but to get to this stage, uh, the software that you're going to need is called FileZilla, all the links will be in the description below. And now when you get here, at first it may look a bit complicated but it really isn't, your host is going to be the um, address that you use to lo lock into MinOS. So for me that's 192.168.1.225 Your username is going to be MC Your password is going to be the password that you've used to log in. And then your port, this is important, your port will be 22. Then once you get to this page it will, you'll, you'll see that you, you've successfully logged in where, where you get this bit and you'll be greeted with a file called MC. In my case it's got nothing in it, but yours yours will have, um, yours will, mine just doesn't. What you want to do is you want to go to the slash, scroll down to the bottom, and then you want to click on the file that says VAR. And once you get there, you want to go to the, the file that says Games, Minecraft, and then Import. Then when you, then once you're at this file, you want to fi find out where it, your um, server file is, whatever that may be that you, you're wanting to put on the server. For my case, this demonstration, it's uh, Sky Factory 4. Just drag it across. And we'll be back after... This has finished uploading. Hey guys, we're back. Right, now from here, you want to go back to MinOS, click on import a server, and as you can see, our Sky Factory 4 servers appeared here. You want to click create server from archive, you want to give it a name, in our case it's it's just called Sky. Then once then once you get to this point you want to go to profiles, you want to go to forge and you want to download uh, in my case I'm downloading the recommended version of 1.12.2 forge because I know that is what Sky Factory 4 uses then once you've done that you want to go to your forge installer and you want to do the recommended and run so you want to run it and then, but before you run it, you want to obviously set the amount of memory. In my case, it's I'm setting 16 gigs. In your case, it could be a lot. It could be different. Sorry, that's there we go. There we go. And then you just want to click start. And it will take a second for it to start up. There you go, the server's up. Um, if we give it a second, we should be able to actually see it. But it, say, but it says it's up. So let's just click off for it and click back on it. Uh, we'll be right back once the server's finished booting itself up. Hey guys, we're back. Um, the server's finished um, starting up. I've already preloaded Sky Factory 4 here. Now let's just add the server. 
and get connected. Let it, let it search for it. As you can see, the server's out. Let's join. And as you can see, we are in. Yeah, as you can see, we are in. I don't know what's going on with that block. That block's glitched. But that's, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and follow. Um, if this video was helpful, please leave a comment down below. And if there's a tutorial that you want me to do on Mono S, um, please comment down below and I'll see if I can help you out. Uh, anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.